Hey there, how's it going? I'm here in Rovin, Croatia. I don't know if you could hear there, but there was some music coming out of that uh, interesting kind of ramshackle looking uh, house there. I am walking from my hostel, which is just a uh, couple of minutes walk that way, over to the center of Rovin here, the very beautiful old city with the classic cobblestone paths, little shops, and the harbor, which is just absolutely uh, stunningly lovely. And so I'm just going to give a taste of one day in Croatia. It is an amazing day. Sunny, warm, not uh, super hot yet. A bit of a breeze here, which is helping uh, to cool things down. The sea is very, very close. I also plan to get a swim in in this video. I will also give a little taste of the uh, prices of things. The hostel where I'm staying, it is called Roundabout Hostel and it is $28 per night. So that is actually kind of expensive for a, you know, bunk bed in a hostel. I had a private room in Budapest, Hungary for that exact same price, 28 bucks. And so the local currency here is the Croatian kuna. The exchange rate to the US dollar is about seven kuna to one US dollar. There are definitely some good deals to be found. I had a uh, piece of pizza yesterday at the uh, bus stop right after I arrived and it was a little more than a dollar for a massive uh, slice of pizza that like basically was lunch all by itself. Okay, which way to go? I think down this way. Rovin. And check it out. That there is the Adriatic Sea, part of the Mediterranean. And so I'm going to walk down this street down here. I went down here yesterday and had dinner with a uh, girl from the hostel and there's lots of uh, restaurants, shops and stuff. And this leads down to the uh, main harbor, which is uh, really beautiful. Got some fast food here, a pizza slice, 12 uh, kuna, so that's about a little more than a dollar fifty, almost two dollars. That's two dollars right there. Hamburger for about three dollars. Big burger, about four dollars. Drinks, about a dollar fifty to two dollars. Now the main harbor is over there, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I can see it over there. But then I can also see it uh, out there, and I didn't go there last night, so I'm going to check that out first and then circle around and show the uh, main harbor area, which is really pretty with all the boats and everything. But this will get a nice uh, little glimpse of the Adriatic uh, Sea here off the coast of Croatia. And so I just got a bottle of water at that kiosk there for 15 Croatian kuna, which is about $2. I'm sure that it would be a lot cheaper at like a supermarket grocery store kind of a place, but I was tired of looking and I was thirsty, so I went for it. And here we go. Definitely not looking as nice and clear as the spot that I swam at yesterday, which is um, out that way. And so I will definitely walk over there and go uh, get a swim in. It is getting on time already. It is heating up, but uh, nice to get a little taste of the sea here. And you can see off in the distance some of the other little settlements and perhaps beaches. I think that there are nicer beaches, other spots in Croatia. It's a pebble beach at that one spot, but this is quite an interesting skyline here of these old buildings along the sea. And now I'll walk over to the other side and show the picturesque harbor. And a nice looking market here. Looks like 40 kuna for raspberries. That's like five, six dollars. Kind of expensive, actually. Lots of tasty looking stuff, though. 80 kuna. About uh, 11, 12 dollars for that. 
And here's a market right here. I've got to find out now how much a uh, bottle of water would be here. And so it was 650 kuna there instead of 15, so less than half the price. The kiosk where I bought the water was right there, so it would have paid to have uh, waited a little bit, but oh well. And so there are a couple of things up this way. Looks like a uh, castle and a church. I will head up there in a few minutes. And here are some prices of food. That is a huge um, plate there for 150 kuna, which is $20. And 190 there, that is close to $30. A plate for two people, 180 kuna. A huge plate here for two people, 150 kuna, about $20. Nice spot for a swim. And so the beach that I want to go to is somewhere out there, kind of around the corner there. I'll walk along this walkway here. And definitely grab a drink along the way. I'm not actually sure how much this is yet. Can't be uh, more than two, three dollars or something. I'm now going to walk to that beach and take a swim in that water. And so this is the park that is next to the uh, town of Ravin there. It is turning into a crazy long walk to get to this beach. I think that I am finally there and I am so ready to jump in the water. Back in the Mediterranean after uh, a full year since I was here in Greece. Completely different part of the Mediterranean, of course. This is the Adriatic. It's like an arm of the Mediterranean, but uh, it feels good. It is dinner time. I've got an excellent looking meal here of pork steaks with french fries and some kind of side there. 
and some nice looking uh, sauces and a beer and some bread. Ten dollars for the uh, plate here, three bucks for the beer. Not bad. Now I realize you probably can't uh, hear it very well, but this is that same house from the beginning of the video and they are still playing the same kind of uh, music. Pretty funny. And so that was a pretty good meal there. The uh, total bill was $14 for the full plate and the beer and a uh, 10 kuna tip, which is about $1.50 or so. Tipping is kind of um, expected a little bit in Croatia from what I understand like around 10% or so and then uh, I stopped at a supermarket on the way uh, to dinner there and I bought some granola which is what I usually have for breakfast in the morning if uh, the hotel or hostel where I'm staying doesn't include breakfast and so that's what I had uh, this morning was granola and so I added everything up for the day and the total amount that I spent was about 53 uh, dollars US and so that's not bad um, it's uh, certainly cheaper than other parts of Europe but it is also definitely more expensive than other parts of Eastern Europe such as Hungary I'm sure that Bosnia and Albania um, are going to be cheaper than Croatia it is certainly a uh, popular tourist destination these days and so that drives prices up but it is also really awesome, so it is definitely worth it. All right, thanks for watching. I hope this video gave you a good idea of how expensive is Croatia. See ya.